Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? Adrian Boisel here. A lot of people fail, not just graphic designers, but why specifically do graphic designers fail a lot? I get a lot of comments on this YouTube channel. I don't know how to make money. I don't know where to do, what to do in my career. Uh, I've been struggling. I, I, all my other people that I went to college with for graphic design have quit. I'm done with graphic design. Why are so many people fed up and failing in their creative career as a graphic designer, web designer, or motion designer. That's what I wanna talk about in today's video. I wanna go deep with you guys. I wanna talk about something that's been really big and really important for me in my life. And I wanna share it with you guys and hopefully some of you guys will get a breakthrough. And if you do, definitely hit the subscribe and like button on this video so you can get notified of more content like this. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So many of you guys have probably taken the traditional route for your career and you went to college, you got your graphic design degree or your communications degree, your multimedia degree and now you're working a nine to five or you're trying to find your first nine to five and you're fed up with your graphic design career. Some of you, if you're like me, did it a different way where you were a self-taught graphic designer. Maybe you've always been an artist like I was. Maybe you picked up Photoshop and you really had a liking for it or Illustrator or one of the Adobe programs or maybe Corel Draw, and you've reached this frustration point. You've reached this breaking point in your career where you're sick of not making money you're sick of feeling unfulfilled, unhappy, and underpaid. Well, that's what today's video is about, is to help you get out of that rut, to help you get unstuck, and get you onto a path that's gonna bring you abundance, that's gonna bring you wealth, and bring you fulfillment, because that's what this job should really be about. As a creative, as an artist, you have a special gift that most people don't have in the world. As my wife would put it, you're not neurotypical. You're not like everybody else, and I'm not like everybody else. We think different, we do things different, we are not the kids that got A's in school. We are the kids that struggled and failed in school other than maybe art class, right? So we do things differently. And one of the common things or three of the common things that I've noticed with creatives, and I've had tons and tons of creatives that have worked for me over the years, probably close to 20 or 30 different creatives, is there's three things that they really struggle with. The first one is confidence. I've talked about this other times on my channel. I'm something I'm really pushing on and really trying to educate you guys on is confidence. The second one, is communication. A lot of graphic designers are introverted and even extroverted graphic designers struggle with communication. And this is such an important part of what we do for a living and how we actually sell and communicate what it is that we do and sell our value. This is another big area. The third one, and this is probably the most common I see amongst creatives in my group and in communities and online, is complacency. Not growing, not doing enough and not having a system in place for your life and not just your business life, but your personal life to grow yourself, to push yourself outside of your comfort zone because comfort zones are where your dreams go to die. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. If you're not doing something every day to grow, to sharpen your ax and to gain new skills, you're gonna feel unhappy, unfulfilled, and you're gonna definitely be underpaid. I would feel the same way that you probably do if I was still doing business card designs. Back in 2007, I started doing business card designs for business owners, and I did over 3,000 business card designs in just over two years. I was sick of doing business card designs, and I knew that I was solving a very small problem. Making somebody business cards is not worth more than 100 bucks. That's about what you're gonna be able to get, 100, maybe 150 if you're super, super talented. You're solving a very small problem. As I've learned and as I've grown and as I've pushed myself out of my comfort zone and leveled up my communication and leveled up my confidence, I've started to solve bigger and bigger problems. Marketing problems, business problems, life problems. That's more of what I solve nowadays than anything else is I solve people's personal problems, which are their business problems. Most people's business problems are personal problems in disguise. And as I've learned to solve bigger problems, I've gotten paid more money. And so this is an area that I need you to focus on. So the four things that I want you to think about, and I want you to write these down too. If you're not taking this seriously, you're not, you don't have a pen and paper, and you're not writing this stuff down, you're not gonna retain it, okay? You need to pay attention, you need to write this stuff down, it's gonna help you remember it. So these are the four things I want you to think about. The first one is money. You need to make more money. If you're gonna be doing logos for the next five, 10, or 15 years, how burnt out and how unfulfilled are you gonna feel just doing only logo designs, right? Especially if you're charging the same amount as you were at the very beginning as 15 years later. If I was still charging 100, 200, or $500 for a logo design, I would not be very happy about it. And I would constantly be chasing the next client, chasing the next client. I now charge a minimum of $5,000 for a logo design. 
How many of you guys would like to charge $5,000 for a logo design? If that's you, drop a comment down below. Say, I wanna charge more. Put it in all caps. I wanna charge more down in the comments below. I think this is really important. You guys are not making enough money because you don't have enough skills built up yet. You need to start solving bigger problems and you'll start making more money and you're gonna start feeling more fulfilled and you won't feel so underpaid. The second thing is time. You are not spending enough time working on yourself as much as you do working on your clients. This is an area that I struggled with. I spent 16, 18, sometimes 20 and 24 hour days working on all my client stuff and no time for myself. I wasn't investing into myself. You need to invest into your learning, your education and books and courses and programs and community. You have to really start to structure your time, structure your day and give yourself some of that time, not just to your clients. You are not a slave. You deserve to have an investment in yourself, just like you're investing your time into other people. The third one is growth. You haven't made enough progress. This is a very common area. You've been doing the same types of designs. You're at the same skill set level that you have been. You haven't improved your skills as a designer. You haven't improved your skills as a freelancer or a business owner or an agency owner or as a web designer, whatever it is that you do. You're not gaining enough ground because you're not setting yourself up for success and using your time to sharpen your ax. You need to start setting up time management, start time blocking your day, start writing things down, start putting things on paper, like the notes that you're gonna take in this video and start applying them to your life because information without the application will not get you a transformation. This is super important. I really want you to start taking your time seriously because out of all these things on the list that I'm gonna read out to you, this is the most valuable thing that you have. You can't get more of it, you can't make more of it. The government has made trillions of dollars in just the last couple of years. You can't make more time. There's no way to stretch that out. Now you can get fit, you can get in good shape and you can extend your lifespan, but you're still not gonna make it more than 100, 120 years if you're one of the world's oldest people, right? So it's really important for you to think about how valuable your time is. I want you to start valuing your time for yourself and not just giving it away freely to people, just to try to build a portfolio or earn your reputation. That's not the way you're gonna find success. The last one and the last major failure that I see that people have is planning. If you are not planning, you don't have a written plan for your business, for your life, and you're not going through that plan daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly, and you don't even have a planner or any type of online way to track what you're doing, you don't have a business plan, a marketing plan, a brand strategy, any of these things, you're not gonna have a target. And if you don't have a target, there's nothing for you to reach. How much money do you wanna make? How many computers do you want? What kind of computer do you want? What kind of schedule do you want? Do you wanna work for a big company or do you wanna work for a local mom and pop business? Do you wanna work for yourself or do you wanna work and sell stock photography? Do you wanna make passive income or do you wanna make active income? These are all things and all questions that you need to answer for yourself and you need to document them and write them down and look at them on a regular basis. I have a daily planner and I have a daily list of things that I do every single day on my personal side and on my business side and they're non-negotiables. You need to figure out what those non-negotiables are, write them down, and definitely if you even want to, comment them down below. If you'd like to level up, if you'd like to continue to grow, if you like the content you're seeing here, not only am I gonna ask you to subscribe, but I'm gonna ask you to join my community. It's on Facebook. We also have a community off of Facebook. You can check out instagraphics.com or click the link down in the description. I'd love to see you in that community. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel. Until the next video, keep looking up.